Hayward TriStar VS900 1.85 horsepower pump running on a single 2 inch suction line right here 150 square foot filter 2 inch return line this is going to be a test for the power consumption and flow rates we're able to get right now the pump is already running on 600 rpm you can probably hardly hear it there but we can see on the flow meter even at the very lowest setting 17 gallons per minute through the system top right corner is the important number that's the the wattage the power consumption 32 watts on the left uh, 30.33 amps power consumption for this 230 volt electrical installation let's start winding this up i'll try to go in increments here so this is 750 we'll go up to the power first because it this meter is faster the uh, flow meter takes a second to catch up 43.7 watts 0.36 amps and we're already over 20 gallons a minute One thousand RPM. All oh, right, I said I was going to go up here first. Just under seventy-four watts, point four five amps, twenty-nine gallons per minute. Up to 1250 now. Just under 118 watts, 0. 0.6 amps, 35 gallons per minute. One hundred and seventy nine watts, point eight two amps, forty three, forty two. I'm probably going to call that forty two gallons per minute. Two hundred and sixty three watts, one point one five amps, and fifty two gallons per minute. Three hundred and seventy watts, one point five nine amps, sixty one gallons per minute. Twenty two fifty. That power consumption starts climbing a lot now. Five hundred and six point five watts 2.14 amps the higher an electric motor spins in terms of rpms the more power it consumes and it's a sharply climbing uh number it, it's not a small increase it's a very large increase at the higher rpms 71 gallons per minute Twenty five hundred RPM, six hundred and seventy three watts, two point eight four amps, seventy six gallons per minute. Just a couple more here.
874 watts, 3.68 amps. Eighty two, eighty three, so probably like eighty two and a half gallons per minute. One point one two kilowatts note the decimal point change there 1120 watts is how you would read that 4.71 amps 95 gallons per minute 94 stay on it for a second here 95 okay i'm going to call that 95 1.4 kilowatts, 5.91 amps. One oh five, one oh six. Maximum speed. Check that filter pressure. I read that as 11 PSI. Oh, look at that. We're bouncing off the top of the instrumentation scale, 110. 1.66 kilowatts, 1.67, 7.0. 04 amps current draw I've checked this number with my analog meter to double check it, it's accurate we're at maybe 111 112 gallons per minute maximum but that's a pretty close number it's important to remember that Every swimming pool system is unique. This is just an example for my system. Your numbers for flow and power consumption, they'll all be different to a certain degree, and it's important to note that. But still, this gives us a really good point for comparison and creating an apples-to-apples -apples comparison when shopping for swimming pool pumps. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.